Hi viewers, it's your boy Boris Andrea, and in today's video I want to introduce to you one of my new machines, the White Ego, made, made by the Victoria Arduino Company. So basically I just want to show you the simple basics on how you can use this machine. So let's get started. So like you see this is a White Ego here, uh, basically it has a number of different buttons which different function and uh, we are going to deal with that. So basically we are going to begin with switching it on. On your right underneath the machine there is a switch down here or let's call it the power switch which enables our machine to start up. So after switching it on, like display everything like you see. All the buttons are lighting and our screen here has also displayed. So like you see this screen here, this is the display screen that displays the menu. It also shows us, it displays every running bit of the machine. Or let me so say, like you're trying to extract an espresso, it's going to show you the timing. It displays the date and everything. So just in case you want to, you want to automatically use your machine, this is the screen that displays everything. So let's get started with our group head. This is a double group head machine. Like you see, this, this is the first group head and this is the second group head. So basically these group heads all have the same buttons, but each button has its own function. So basically this is the barista's button. It's you to control the flow of your espresso. Like you see, same with this, it's all the same. So these, uh, so these are the buttons, like you see this one. It's, uh, it has a single cup uh, which, symbol which symbolizes the single espresso and this side is the double cup which symbolizes the double espresso. Still it's the same here, like you see, single and double. So basically after seeing our group head, this is the potter filter. They're all double potter filters, like you see, but it has its own single potter filter. So let's go to the steam words. It has two steam words. This is one and this is two. Unlike the, unlike the other machines, like you see this one, it has a paddle which you just drive clockwise and anti-clockwise. Clockwise and anti-clockwise. This is not the same weather this situation this one is very different like it has a panel while steaming you just twist it down and leave it then up to stop it or same you can easily control it by taking it up without a release and down up and down it's you to control this gear but uh, when you when you want to release steam continuously you just take it down Still the same function on the other side. Up. So you to control this gear, whereby if you release it, it will come back automatically. So like you see, after taking over the steam ward, we have our, our water tap. Like you see, it's flexible and you can drive it any direction you want. And it has this button, which helps us release the water from the tap. Like you see. So after the tap, this is the main system of the machine, just in case you want to use it automatically. Basically, we have this button up, down, enter, and reset. This is how you can easily reset your machine. Like you see here, this is our screen. It's showing Saturday 11th, uh, which is the actual date that I'm recording this video. But uh, basically, you see it has this side and has this side. This side is for one group head and this side is for another group head. But shows you this is the potter filter. While extracting, it's going to show you the drop of the espresso. Still, this is the same. And here, like you see, if I press there, it starts the count. It displays the count. Once you, like you see, this is our menu here. So once you want to use the menu or you want to enter the menu, you simply press this button and the menu li lights white. Like you see, after pressing the white, press the enter button. It's going to display all the settings that you need. The language, once you enter, language, English, Italian, any language that you want. But we, we are good with English. Then we scroll down to the dosage, just in case you want to time your espresso uh, with the water or the seconds through which it comes out, still you enter the dosage. Like you see, it's going to display uh, program dosage or dosage transfer or default settings. So basically I'll go to the dosage still it tells you to select like you see after pressing this every button is going to blink like you see here I get the mandate to press any button if it's the single shot I'll press the single shot here it will display the grammage of the water or the dosage of the water that you want the espresso to be extracted. I can easily take it up by pressing up 
all down but i'll leave it to that then i press enter i go back so after selecting it's very easy to transfer your dosage like from uh, one of the group heads to another group head then you can also take it to the default settings through which the company set the machine so let's get back to another setting like you see it has also a set point set point here it has a cup warmer this is the warmer that warms the cup on top of the machine still you can easily program it you can either turn it on or off or easily increase the heat temperature temperature of the heat warmer so here basically it's on the six i won't intervene with that so i'll go back still here with the set point press they tell you set your bars so this set point press it shows you that uh, once i turn on my machine and it reaches these points 1.2 1.22 bars it's ready to use so let me not disturb that let me go back then here we go to the display settings like you see it has the time delivery it has the temperature it has the lighting ad adjustment so basically when you want to use this machine or you want to you oh. want to adjust your machine with the time temperature still yeah. you visit that part then we go back to the energy set energy savings you can easily turn it on or off activate the group heads you can either switch on the first group head or off like you see on or off off or on let's leave it on because we all need them then we can go to the energy savings still on or off it's your choice then we go back to power management still here they tell us it's not active so i think that needs uh, basically the people who did machine so we go back we go to the counters delivery counter service counter grand total cleaning counter all those are different functions that you have to visit on your machine then it has the fault history your history what history do you need so here washing alarm like you see it's not active false false history it shows me that i only had one error so we we'll go back on the group head one i had only one error which is not bad so we we'll go back so it has a number of functions like you see now the false history we're done with the false history now the technical settings uh, basically sometimes when you go into the technical settings you have to be very curious about this because uh, sometimes it needs technicians to work on this but if you use to your machine still you can access the technical like you see here real power it gives you the timing of your uh, of, it gives you the timing of the machine power we go back to the time and date hour you can easily set your date there uh, we go to maintenance it shows you uh, all these digits this is when it was last maintained it has been okay then we go back then we go to setting password you can easily set password or the pre-brewing pre basically the pre-brewing uh it helps uh, just in case you have a disturbing coffee or a or you have a coffee that is not fully degassed this is where you can easily visit so basically i'll record you one uh, basically i'll record you a video showing you how you can easily pre-brew or preheat your machine just in case you have a disturbing coffee so basically like you see uh, those are settings it has one two three four five six seven eight all right so we go back like you see those are our settings and uh, that is it so let's visit the power button this is the power button just in case you don't want to use the switch underneath the machine this is where you come you long press then it turns off or you long press so after the long press it will display off or you long press to switch it on this button is for the cup warmer you can easily switch it off or on you see this button once your machine is overheating once you see it lighting up i would advise you to either switch it off for a few minutes or 
you first stop using it but basically i would advise one to first switch it off so once you see it lighting it means that it has overheat and uh, basically let's visit our gauge here water gauge once i extract anything you see it moving if i release it it goes back and it's still all the same so those are our functions when it comes to the white ego machine like you see in our video here i've shown you the simple basics on how you can easily use or start up your machine just in case you have any question about this machine or any machine out there that is disturbing you simply click click in my comment section you can easily ask any question there or you can visit me by sending me a message on my instagram facebook and uh, twitter pages and don't forget to subscribe